you know that the ferry will be your new home. And now for the thrilling adventures of Lightning Jim. Whitey Larson, Lightning Jim's deputy marshal, has been sent to Rio Vista, a small border town, in order to deliver certain papers to the sheriff. As he walks down the street toward the sheriff's office, he is watched by two men who stand at the window of a dingy adobe hut, Steele Nixon and the Mexican called Culebra. Andre, get home. The gomery there walking along. The one with the white sombrero. Yes, see him all right. What about it? What is for it? Do you not know that the pig that remains at the boss of the... Suppose you just name him by his right name. Maybe so, I'd recognize him then. You think so? I think so. He is called Whitey. I do not know his other name. But he is the deputy of Lightning Jim. Suffering cactus. Hey. Now, do you recognize him? Deputy of Lightning Jim. See, si. You suppose that viper is trailed down here? I think we covered the tracks most carefully. But I do know this. Never will I feel safe until Lightning Jim is dead and killed by my own hands. <laughs> he sure raised plenty of ruction with us both, hasn't he, Calibra? Yeah. He smashed my gang all right, killed a few, and sent the rest of them up for life. All but me. And me. He make of me the, the one to be laughed at. Huh. With his bare hands, he beat me in front of my men. Hmm. I get away, but by the blood of my body, I swore to kill him over and over. Yeah, I reckon I know how you feel. I'd like to get even with him myself. But you gotta catch him first, and that ain't easy. Especially since the both of us has got reward notices on our heads. Well, if I could get him once in my own country across the river, oh, there would be another story to tell. Then, then I could... <laughs> yeah, sure. If, if. But Lightning Jim ain't no fool. He ain't gonna put his head in no trap. And he ain't coming across the river. Not for the pleasure of our company. Come on. I'll play you some more cards. We can't get across the river until dark. Wait, wait. I have think of something. A plan. A plan to get Lightning Jimmy across the river to make him come to me. You're a local Calabra. There ain't no such plan. You listen to me, Steel Nixon. There is one thing for which Lightning Jim will play the fool at all times. Yeah, what's that? For his amigo, his friend. For him, he would do anything. Anything at all. Yeah, I guess you're right. Leastways, he's got that kind of a reputation. Hey, what are you driving at? His amigo is this, this, this here, within our reach. So tonight, we plan to cross the river to go to my home. Is it not so? Sure. And you're doing me a big favor taking me across the river. Ah, the bueno. But if we take this whitey pig with us, then... Take him along? Sure, take him along with us. Then send word to Lightning Jim that he wants to see his amigo again. Ah, he must come after him alone. Hey, it might work. He might be just that big a fool. It will work. I know it will. And then, then I, Culebra de Cascavel, will have my revenge. Yeah, you might have that. Hey, would you mind telling me just what that name of yours means? I don't savvy the Spanish so well. My name? You do not know? Culebra, the snake. Culebra de Cascavel is how you say the, the rattlesnake. <laughs> <laughs> Roger, 
It's got no mother to mend the clothes I wear. It's got no sister. See what's going on here. Oh, you're not for the gun. No. You will put up your hand. Up, up. Yo, but they ain't got no money. See, see, you're making mistakes. Get out from that horse, quick. Yo, but... Pronto. Or I put the bullet in your head. Ah, you tell me truth. Where is Lightning Jim? Lightning? What do you want to know that for? Pig? Oh, oh, my head. Oh. You ain't gonna learn nothing, Calabra. Not if you kill us, Jasper, oh. first. You will learn not to talk back to Calabra. Oh. Now, you. Where is Lightning Jim? He's the Fort Anderson. You can't hurt him none there. No? <laughs> we will see. Manuel! Manuel! This is Mr. Keith, you will take this ladder and this pig's horse and ride to Fort Anderson. Then you will find the devil called Lightning Jim and see that he gets this ladder. See, I give him the ladder. Get on your way. Quiet it, quiet it. And let us be going, too. Get up, deputy. There, what devil you do to me? You can't hurt Lightning. <laughs> Wait and see. Wait and see. <laughs> Back at Fort Anderson, Lightning Jim Whipple, United States Marshal, is greeting Billy Snow, a young friend of his. <laughs> well, this is swell, Billy. Ain't been so tickled in a month of Sundays. Me too, Lightning. See, I didn't sleep all night just thinking about coming down here to visit. Well, but uh, how come you got down this way? School ain't out, is it? No. Uh, <clears throat> teacher's sick. Got the mumps. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, all right. Pete, you getting the mumps. <laughs> Say, where's Whitey? I got a present for him. A pair of socks with red and green stripes. Oh, <laughs> he won't want to wear no shoes with them socks. Oh, he sure does like bright colors, all right. <laughs> Where is he, Lightning? Oh, he ought to be back right about now. Had to go to Rio Vista on a little business trip. Probably be back sometime this morning. Come on in the store, yeah. Reckon you could go for some candy, couldn't you? Gee, could I? I'm about starved. <laughs> hey, Jim. Huh? Hey, Lightning. Letter for you. Yeah? Thought mail was in long ago. Didn't come by mail. Max fella brung it in about ten minutes ago. Said to give it to you personal. Couldn't find you sooner. Well, thanks. Hmm, wonder what's up now. Excitement, maybe. Maybe I can go along. Maybe we can chase Indians, Lightning. <laughs> you and me and White is going fishing soon as Whitey gets back. Now, let me see what this letter says now. No. Can't be. Whitey... Lightning. Lightning, what's the matter? You look sick. But he's a prisoner. Been taken to Mexico. By Calabria and Steele Nixon. Two of the worst murdering coyotes have that ever lived. Oh, do you think they'll kill him? I don't know. But I'm going after him. That's all I do know. Oh, but Lightning, this is sure to be a trap. They're just trying to get you across the river. Maybe they got it in for you, Lightning. Maybe... Don't you think I know that? Sure. But they got Whitey. They took him prisoner. They say in that letter... If I don't come after him by the tenth of the month... Today's the fifth. He got five days. Yeah. They ain't there then at this hideout. They'll kill me. Did, did you ever think that, that maybe... Maybe they were already... I mean... I know. Maybe they killed him already. But I can be sure I've got to go down there. Oh, listen, Lightning. I know how you feel. Sure I do, but... Oh, but what can you do alone in Mexico? Well, they ain't gonna turn Lighty white and loose, no how. Not even if you do stick your head into a trap. Maybe you think I should just stay here, taking care of my own skin, while my friend's down there depending on me. Oh, but Lightning, you can't do it. You can't do it. You got no authority across the river. The government can't help you none. Well, the attorney general wouldn't even let you go if he knew about and it. And he ain't gonna know about it. Whitey's in the hands of a couple of snakes, all right. And I ain't sure that it can do him no good at all. But I'm going down there. And if I have to leave my badge behind and just go as a man trying to help his friend, that's good enough for me. The following morning, early, a wagon pulled out of Fort Anderson hitched to two mules and driven by an old man, stooped, white of hair and beard. On the seat beside him sits a young boy, 
And trailing along behind the wagon is a horse. A big horse, black, with three white feet and a white face. Well, Billy, nobody saw us getting out of Fort Anderson. No, Lightning. We sure sneak out on all of them. Gee, you look so different, Lightning. Well, I don't think nobody will recognize you in that game. <laughs> We're not changed by boys like this. I'm an old man, stranger. A very old man. Gee, that does it. Ain't nobody going to know you then. Yeah, but poor Thunder. He can't understand why the paint job. Why I'm making him trail along behind. <laughs> you sure change his look too, like him. And just with a paintbrush. The way I figure it, Billy, it's a trap, of course. Well, Abra and Steel won't be down there so they can get even with me. They'll be watching for me, all right. Probably got spies all along the way. If I can get by them spies without being recognized, well, then... Then you got a better chance of saving life, That's huh? it. I ain't got no business bringing you along, Billy. Must been out of my mind. I'm going to send you back soon as we get to the river. Oh, Lightning. Lightning, you can't do that. You can't. Just like you said, a man's got to stand by his friends. And... And you and Whitey are my best friends. Well, look what you've done for me already. I... I gotta help now. I just gotta. I can't take a boy your age in danger like this, son. No, Lightning. Like we figured last night. They won't be expecting you to have a kid along. Well, that'll throw them completely off the track. And and I promise, just as soon as you gotta go alone, as soon as I ain't no good to you no more, I'll go back or, or do anything you tell me. Anything. Well, all right, Billy. You and me are sure tackling the job, but, well... Nobody can say that Whitey's friends went back on him, can they? Oh! Oh! You dirty yellow belly! Go ahead and kill me if I don't get... Oh! oh. <laughs> no, no. I do not wish to kill you. Yet, ha. I save that for when Lightning Jim comes. First, he see you die, and then he die. Yo, but you'll never get lightning, never. He's smarter than you, older you, and stronger. He'll get you. Oh, I meet you, Mr. Oh, yes, my lads have no fun, Calabra. We set a trap for lightning. Ain't no use in torturing this poor buzzard. Huh? Maybe you tell Calabra how to behave in his own home, huh? You forget I got you across the river to safety when the dogs of the law were at your heels. I bring you here. I ain't forgetting none of that. But, well, you ain't doing no good beating this deputy. Why don't you save it for lightning? Uh, maybe you're right. He has three more days to get here. I will wait. Lightning. Lightning, I ain't worth it. Whitey, you really mean you think your partner will come down here after you? You're, you're here to come, all right. Lightning hits that kind of a fender. But I ain't worth it. I ain't worth it. Must be far from nice to have a friend like that. One that'd stick his head in a trap just for you. I ain't never had a friend like that. Dear, you ain't a bad tarantula like this, Calibra. You ain't. I know that you ain't. Right now, I'm sick at my stomach with him. After all, I'm an American. I don't like seeing one of my kind being tortured by a greaser like Calabra. Then you help me see it. You help me to see it me. No. Don't fool yourself, none. I ain't as bad as Calabra, but I got a grudge against Lightning myself. And even if I wanted to help your friend, I couldn't do a thing. I'm just as much a prisoner of Calabra's as you are. Nothing can save Lightning, Jim, now. If he's fool enough to come here... Never before has Whitey been in such danger. And never has Lightning Jim faced a more hazardous task. What will be the outcome of this fiendish plot of Culebra, the rattlesnake? Part two of this Lightning Jim adventure, The Snake Strikes, follows immediately.
And now for part two of the Lightning Kim adventure, The Snake Strike. Through the ages, the deeds done in the name of friendship have been glowing links in the chain of man's endeavor. So long as men stand shoulder to shoulder, cherishing that loyalty which comes from the soul, afraid of nothing, daring all, just that long will humanity go marching forward to greater glory. The pioneer days of our own country are full of such stories, stories of almost godlike courage. And in these days of tottering dynasties and traditions, it is well that we as Americans go back to our own heritage for that spirit which is inalienably ours. Truly greater love hath no man than this, that he lay down his life for his brother. Such is the story of Lightning Jim's attempt to rescue his friend Whitey. Whitey has been captured by Culebra and Steel Nixon, outlaws with an undying hatred for Lightning Jim. A letter has been sent to Lightning telling him that if he himself does not come to the Mexican stronghold of Culebra by the 10th of the month, Whitey will be killed. Peons serving Culebra are keeping a careful watch along the trail for the big black horse Thunder and his master. And far down the trail, nearing the den of the rattlesnake, the old man stops to talk with the boy. Thunder, old boy, easy there now, easy now. Well, Billy, as far as I can bring you, son. Oh, but Lightning, we got this far without nobody stopping us. Well, I don't even think nobody suspected nothing. Oh, if you're right. Now, look, Billy, here's a map Culebra sent me. Huh. He was pretty sure he'd come, wasn't he? Yeah, I reckon he was. Well, look at it good again, Billy. See this road here that turns off? That's one I gotta take. That's right. It is. And this other one goes down. Yeah, Where? to San Bonito. Now, Billy, I'm gonna give you a note to Senor Guadalupe. He's sort of the mayor of San Bonito. I met him a couple of years ago, and he's a fine man. You want me to go down there for help, Lightning? Yeah, I want you to go down there, all right. I'll explain a few things in the note about why I'm here and all, see? Well, why don't you wait until I can get the senior Guadalupe? Then he can round up some of his men, and we can go after Calabria and Steve. No, no, it won't work, Billy. According to the note, if I don't come alone, why he gets killed. Oh. So I'm going alone. But if I ain't out of that, and back here at this crossroad, tonight at midnight, why didn't you both be dead, and you can tell Guadalupe to come ahead and... Clean out the nest. Oh, what are you going to do, Lightning? I'm going to wait till it gets dark, and then, well, I'm going to get inside that fortress of Culebras somehow. Oh, but, but Lightning, what, what if you can't get out? <laughs> Don't you go wearing your head about that, Billy. You don't know all you could, son. Shouldn't have let you come at all. And I wouldn't if I hadn't been half crazy thinking about Whitey. You go on down to San Bonito and take a note and... Well, good luck, Billy. Yeah. Yeah, sure. sure. You want me to take Thunder too, Lightning? Yeah, you better. So long, Thunder. Take care of him for me, Billy. If I ain't back by midnight, well, uh, well, it belongs to you. You'll be back all right, Lightning. I know you will. I just know. Goodbye, Thunder, old boy. I'd take you along, but... Hey, much you could do for me. Uh, why do you do that? Now on. Ain't another horse like you in place, Thunder. I reckon I should have left you back here at Fort Anderson, but going any place without you is like, <laughs> like going without Whitey. <laughs> sort of belong together, don't we? Get going, Billy. Hurry up. Take him away. Go on. Get along, boy. Get along now. Good luck, Lightning. I'll be waiting for you. Goodbye, Thunder. Goodbye. So long, Billy. And that night, under cover of darkness, Lightning has reached the Hacienda of Culebra. There are bars on all the windows, and armed guards patrol the walls. Culebra's taking no chances. Lightning hides in the shadows and watches anxiously as one of the guards suddenly raps on the door. Sangre de Lobo. Sangre de Lobo. Uh, Pedro, you have seen something, see? No, nothing. The gringo does not come. I will eat now. Uh, Pepe is still watching, huh? See, for one who does not come. <laughs> when I come back, he will eat. Don 
Sangre de Lobo. Sangre de Lobo. Ah, Pepe, you see something, see? See this. Oh, that's one gone. Better close this door. Get you tied up and gagged, too. What's the matter, Juan? Juan! Juan, you hear me? Reach for the sky, Culebra. What is it? I think here. You hear me, Culebra? You expected me, didn't you? Ha, ha, ha! Good! Good work, Juan! He, he hit me with his gun. Was not hard enough. No, so you treat him when he shoots, huh? Ha, <laughs> I will not forget that. I have my gun on you now, Lightning. Do not move. So, uh, you pay me a little visit, see? <laughs> He's good. Very good. I was really trying to surprise you, Culebra. But I had the table turned on me. What's all the shooting about, Culebra? Any sign of... Lightning, Jim. So you did come after all. Culebra was right. Gil Nixon. Thought it surprises me seeing you teamed up with Culebra here. I know you was bad, but I never thought you was this low. Pinga, pinga! Get his gun still. Then we will have some fun with him. Hmm. Mucho fun. He will not talk so loud or brave when I finish with him. Still? Maybe you'll tell me the truth. Is Whitey? Is Whitey still alive? Yeah. He ain't in very good condition, but he's alive, all right. Calabra, you sent me a letter. I did what you asked. I come down, you're alone. Now, you do what you said you do. Settle with me if you want to, but let Whitey go. <laughs> you American who's had the ideas most strange, see? I say in the letter, if you do not come down here by this date, I'll kill your amigo. <laughs> but I did not say that I would not kill him anyway. Ain't no use <laughs> me killing him, Clebra. He ain't hurt you. Take it out on me. Let him go. That's all I'm asking. Still. Get this whitey pig. Bring him here. Huh. The fun will start now. You're the boss. Ah, uh, I have planned uh, much entertainment for you, Lightning. Once you laugh at me in front of my men. <laughs> now I laugh at you. One. All the men. All of them. I want them to laugh with me. <laughs> you... You'll see, Lightning Jim, that Colebra know how to be the grand host. Hmm. He will provide much fun for everybody. We will all laugh. And you will laugh, too. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, here's quite a reunion for you, Whitey. Meet your pal. Lightning. Lightning, what you did do that for? Glad you come down here. <laughs> Reckon you and me been together too long to be separated now, Whitey. I just don't think to know how to get along without you. Nathan, I, I would have died before I got you into this. I'd... Man alive, get your head up. Culebra here says he's going to give us something to laugh about. You and me always did like a good night. Laugh now, didn't we? <laughs> no. He go. That's right, Nathan. Yeah. Uh, well, see, let's have the best laugh that we ever did have. Uh, right now. No, why not? <laughs> oh, oh, that <laughs> <laughs> These guys ain't human. They're, they're more than human. Stop it. Stop it. You dare laugh in my face, Americano beads. Uh, I'll make you laugh. Bring them along. Come. This way. Well, Whitey, here we go. More like this. I wish you hadn't come here. But I feel that's better now that you are here. I ain't afraid of nothing now. What's this, Calabra? What are you planning on doing? You'll see soon enough. Then you will see then who laughs. Hmm. Yeah. You see? You see this pit? Yeah. <laughs> it used to be old well. Then it dry up. So I make it a place for my pet. <laughs> See, I take this stone here. Now, listen. Clever. You got snakes down there. See, ha, I am named for the rattlesnake. I collect them for my pets. Hmm. Now we put the whitey gringo down there first. So Lightning Jim can see where he goes. Then we have other things for him to do. Huh? Lightning. Lightning, don't let me be afraid. Calabra, don't you're insane. Raven insane. Or you couldn't think of this. Shoot us, but don't nah, think of this. That would be too quick. I want to laugh. Ah. Now, you want to say a prayer, whitey pig? You're not going to do this, Calabra. I won't stand for it. What? You wouldn't dare to stop me. I am an American, too. 
I ain't standing for no greaser feeding any other Americans to his pet snakes. Go on and draw. I'll kill you. Oh, oh. You don't believe that. Kill you, Bruce. Let us go and sneak. Get inside here quick. The men will be here any minute. Still, I knew that you was going to help. I knew that you was... And you know more than I did. Things just got too much for me, that's all. I was in the scheme to get you down here, to get even with you. I didn't know when I got in with Calabra that he was as bad a snake as he turned out to be. But, well, I am changing the rules. What do you mean? Here, take your guns, Lightning. I got mine. Whitey here can give the signal. We're shooting it out, you and me, the way I always wanted to do. Steel, no, you can't do this. So you really want to shoot it out with me, huh, Steel? Yeah. I know you're good, all right, but... Well, I'd rather go out this way than at the end of a rope. I see. Whitey, you count to three and then... Then we'll both draw... Lightning, you have to. Yeah. Start counting, Whitey. One, two, three. Well, I missed. Go ahead and shoot. What are you waiting for? Ain't no use in shooting now. You see, Steel Nixon is dead. He died back there along with Culebra. Didn't you see him die, Whitey? Yo, yo, I saw him die. It's good and dead, all right. Well, what are you trying to say, Lightning? I ain't got no authority on this side of the river steel, none at all. I didn't come down here after you or come after Whitey. As far as I'm concerned, so long as Steel Nixon don't bring himself to life back in the States, he's dead. Plum dead. Hey, what does that mean? What's it? Must mean that Billy got to Guadalupe and San Bonito and help us here. Lots of it from the sounds. So you're safe now. Billy, what about Billy? Are you talking about that? I've got a lot of explaining to do later, Whitey, but right now... Oh, you've won and I've lost again. Whitey! 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 You're there! Coming, Billy! We'll go out, Steel. Get behind that box. Quick! Oh, it's grand. Senior Guadalupe had me come along. He's got them all rounded up. And I dashed down ahead to look for you and Whitey. You all right? Oh, I never felt better. <laughs> never. Uh, uh, come on, Billy boy. Come on, you want to fight? Uh, 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 yeah. I saw you aim the other way. You never meant to kill Lightning. Don't you tell him. I don't want him to think that I went soft. <laughs> no, I won't. And good luck, Steel. And so ends another thrilling adventure of Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. Mm-hmm.